Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, so let's talk about how to get certain foliage actors to respawn. So for instance, the green herb. We don't want to run out of them on our map, so we're going to set them up to respawn in two different ways. We're only going to go over one today because the other one we'll go over when we start getting into the respawning enemies and animals. So just like it just disappeared, I don't want that to happen. I want it to disappear and then pop back after a certain amount of time. So to do this, I'm going to go into the green herb blueprint. Now this is a child of the base interactable, so it's got all this functionality built in. But with the children blueprints, if you add in that event interact node into it, here, let me just show you. It'll ignore the other one and just go directly to the one that's so now see how it's printing the string it's ignoring all this because it says I have event interact info inside so I can just focus on this so what we can do to accomplish this is I'm going to cast to the player blueprint just like we're doing over in the other one get the player character for the object then we want to pick up item now since this already has the item info we can just grab that out of our default so get item info just like that and then I want to set that it is not interactable anymore because we've already picked it up we don't want it to be picked up again until it respawns but I also want it to disappear so I'm going to grab out my item mesh or you can set actor visibility I'm just focusing on the mesh if you have multiple items you'd probably want to set actor hidden in game that works too yeah we'll just do that one sure so you can either set the mesh's visibility or you can set that the entire actor is hidden in game so you are now hidden and then we need to remove this reference from the player because if you notice if I do it now it still says green herb and I can still pick up more of them so what we need to do now is we want to get our interactables in range and remove, oh, that's not how you spell remove, is it? Remove an item. The item we want to remove is a self-reference. So we remove that from the player. So now I'm picking it up and it's disappearing and I can't pick up anymore so that's working how we want it then we want a delay now this will be how long you want it to wait for it to respawn so you can either promote this to a variable and have them be the exact same every time or you can get a random float in range so for instance I'm just gonna do between one and three seconds for now just to show you that it'll be doing what we want to do so now once it does its delay we want to basically undo all this so we're going to grab these two control C control V to duplicate them to this side because now that it's going to pop back into existence we want it interactable we don't want it hidden so now if I show you he's back now there is one issue if it pops up right where I'm at I have to run away in order to be able to pick it up again don't want that don't need that so what we can do is we can grab out our sphere interact radius from our mesh and we want to see if it is overlapping actor now for the other we want to see if it's overlapping the player character so we'll add a branch real quick and if it is then we want to add unique because we only want one instance added back but we'll add a unique copy so true to the add unique and we will add ourselves or add the blueprint the green herb blueprint back to the base interactables so now when I come back out here so it's overlapping it pops up says you're overlapping Now you would probably not want that to be that quick. What you can do is you can 
set this to like a min wait time, max wait time. I'm going to set it to just be like um, five minutes. So that'd be like 300 seconds, which I won't make you sit through <laughs> all that. But just suffice to say, now you know it's working. And it'll respawn eventually. So that's how you can have one version of the respawning plants. The other way we'll go over is having spawn zones that'll spawn in various amounts. Like, uh, like say you want it to spawn mostly by a lake, but you don't want it in the exact same spot every time. We'll set up a way for it to spawn it, place it on the ground in random spots around where you want it. So, yep. So. But that's it for this one, just a quick one this time, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.